Hello, Internet. Welcome to Antiheroes Anonymous, unless you've been here before, in which case, welcome back. I am Nick, and I'm the Dungeon Master for this 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons show! Uh, before we get started, let us go around the room for introductions. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Ethan. Hello, I'm Kay. Hi, I'm Zach. Hi, I'm Gabo. Now, normally our players would introduce themselves along with their characters, but we are starting a new campaign right now, and they don't know who they're going to be playing exactly. So, without further ado, let me announce that Kay is playing... Celine, the Asmar Phantom Rogue. Okay, Ooh. all right. Zach is playing Jacket, the Shifter Order of Scribes Wizard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ethan is playing Slim, the Plasmoid Way of the Kensei Monk. Okay, got one right so far. <laughs> uh, and Gabo is playing Phaedric, the Asmar Order of Lycan's Blood Hunter. Ooh. Shit. So while they all scramble to pull up the right character sheets, let us <laughs> go to the intro. Before we get started, just a few announcements. Uh, we premiere episodes on YouTube every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific. Um, you may see a few custom items uh, here and there. Uh, and definitely, if you're familiar with the uh, Planescape campaign that we're running, you will see some custom things that I'm doing with it. I'm not running it 100% by the book. Don't complain. Um, <laughs> the character portraits on the info cards and layout are by our very own Kay Cow. Hey. Uh, you can... <laughs> Uh, you can check the video description for uh, links and information about this campaign, as well as links to uh, Black Lives Matter and Stop Asian Hate resources. Uh, you can follow us on co-hosts for updates uh, at Antiheroes. Um, and just please enjoy the show and share it with your friends. And then I think that is it. Ah! So we can <laughs> get right into it. Yeah! Would everyone please roll me oh boy. a death saving throw? Oh my god! No! <laughs> oh, no. Wait, I have I have a I have a scene for this. Hold on. Throw. On my on my light up die. On my pixels oh. die. <laughs> but I have a death save. And let me know what you got. Profile. They're called profile. Okay. It's been so long since I was a player rolling death saves. You don't add anything? No, right? you don't add anything. Okay. Oh, that's not good. All right. Uh, 16. Okay. It's been a bit. <laughs> yeah. All right. What'd you get, Ethan? Fifteen. Oh no. <laughs> uh huh. You rolled that. Oh roll? no! I rolled a two. <laughs> okay. Oh. I rolled a three. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Angels kicking butt. <laughs> Dying in the first 15, episode. 16, two, three. That's right. That's right. Yep. There we are. All right. This is. Um, <laughs> Jacket. You awaken, covered in a dirty sheet. Throwing it off you, you find that you lie on a medical examination table in a dim windowless stone chamber. Uh, in the very dim light provided by the cold flames from wall sconces, you see that dried blood stains the drab mosaic floor as well as the edges of your table. And as you listen close, you can hear pained moans emanating from the halls beyond this chamber. The air here is cold and stale and there's a faint scent of formaldehyde that you can trace back to a nearby shelf full of clouded flasks and antiseptic jars. Uh, your eyes are drawn to a human skull resting on that shelf. Um, though its sockets are empty, you get the uncanny feeling that it's watching you. But nothing stirs in the room, including the sheet-covered bodies on the other identical slabs you can see here. 
What do you do? Sorry, could you say the last part again? The sheet-covered bodies? Yeah. Uh, nothing is stirring in the room, including the bodies on the other side. There are other bodies. Yeah, if you uh, go down a little bit, you can see this oh, one. Yeah. You want me to show the map? Uh, yeah. Okay, one second. We are... There's Shaggy. This is eerily similar to the intro to Campaign 1. Hold on, I might need to refresh the page, or... Okay, we are good. Let me just make sure it's set. I see. Okay. I was thinking that, too. <laughs> Except in that one, we were in prison cells. Oh. Not on... <laughs> table. So I web. know how I got here. You have no idea. I just... In fact, not only, like, thinking back, not only do you have no idea how you got here, you remember very little of your life. And the parts that you do remember feel like something you read in a book about somebody else. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so I don't know how I got here. I don't know where this is. Mm -hmm. uh, can I do, like, can I investigate the room? Yeah. And... Um, roll uh, an investigation check. Eleven. Okay. Looking around the room, uh, you find your belongings um, on the shelf. Uh, so you, you like kind of were basically just dressed in your your clothes, but you know your spell book, um, your staff, the rest of your equipment is all just kind of like piled on one of these shelves. Okay. Um, and there are some other piles here as well that you don't recognize. Okay. Then uh, can I um, like check the other? bodies really quick and see if... Yeah. Who do you check first? The one nearest to me. Okay. And I'll just kind of go... Yeah. You raise the sheet on the nearest body to your uh, table, and you find a gelatinous blue humanoid body. Ooh. <laughs> um, Slim, as the sheet is pulled over you, what, what does it look like? What is the difference in state between unconscious slim and conscious slim. so that's the thing slim wouldn't be in a humanoid form oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. slim would basically just be a puddle on uh -huh. this slab yeah uh, so there is a puddle of like blue uh goo that has these kind of like purplish synapses within it that are kind of like firing slightly and slowly um what is the process of waking up for you um Slim would basically that ooh as soon as you like pull the sheet back, gradually starts to like as you watch it form slowly into sh into shape of things. Like you can see uh, a like a smaller blob emerges from the top of it, mm -hmm. and it slowly starts to form the vague shape of a head, but without any details like eyes and a nose and ears or things like that. And then one by one, like arms begin to extrude yeah uh, and at first it's just one and the other one's a little bit small and then the other one gets uh -huh. bigger and bigger until they kind of match in size and proportion to the body and then legs follow s soon after that uh yeah soon there is this uh human-ish sized ooze i think jack is just left. staring at this process with like like a morbid curiosity mm -hmm. like it's like like in his mind he's like is this what they're doing here? But wait, this thing is moving and mm -hmm. looks like kind of a... I'm like, yeah. are you... Sorry, Am I conscious? Yeah. You so, weren't before, but, but like once the sheet was pulled off of you. What do I see when I look at Jacket? Um... What do you see when you look at Jacket? Do you want me you to see, grab your art for you? Oh, I you got see it. a, like... Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, oh, very pretty. pretty. No, I had that up with me. There's yours. You're very pretty, though. I know. Um, most notably, <laughs> on his belt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you see a... Uh, What's that? I even forgot. A shifter. shifter, thank you. You see a blonde-haired shifter um, who has, like, some beast-like features, like very pointed ears and, like, some fur growing on the exposed parts of their hands and arms. Um... And then they have a scarf, which is actually a jacket around their neck, like like the remnants of like a stitched together jacket. Uh, they're clothed in like this like kind of greenish 
um, robe, and uh, yeah, they are just kind of staring at you as they watch you kind of take shape and yeah. uh, finally ask, "Are you? What are you? Are you? Are you alive?" Yeah, the the arms kind of like reach back to prop the body up on the slab, it and just um, kind of you off. slowly. A small slit forms in the area, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a voice issues forth, and it says, "What kind of elf are you?" <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, just a second. <clears throat> there we go. Had to readjust my vocal cords. What kind of elf are you? <clears throat> I'm not an elf. I'm a. What? What are you? Why? The plasma. Of course. I don't know what a plasma is, right? You have no idea what plasma is. Is, uh... I see. <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. I... But... How, did, how did we get here? Shrug. Slim, you have the same problem that Jacket is having, which is that, like, you don't have any idea how you got here or where you are, and there are definitely large parts of your missing or your memory missing. Like you, me- you remember basically the things that are written on your character sheet, mm-hmm. but you have the feeling that there are large gaps that are not accounted for. I feel like I'm missing something. Me uh, These must be yours, and I'll reach. I guess I'm guessing where his stuff is. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, There's no pants. I'm not worried about that. I have a lot of other things on my mind that I'm um, wearing. Yes, yeah, so Slim Dawn's kind of like this this like toga thing with like a simple sash belt, uh, and then takes a bundle of arrows and just basically shoves them into his back where they you can kind of see them through the ooze, uh, like using his back as a quiver. Um, like the dream I'm having right now. And then <laughs> dons this well worn like black kind of floppy hat. Um, grabs a spear off of the shelf, and then pulls a pair of boots over his feet. And as he pulls the boots over his feet, you can see that, like, two um, purplish wings unfold from both boot, oh, boot, cool. boots and kind of flutter a little bit. Are we alone? Is it just us? How do we get out of here? It's in the first thing I've checked so far. What should we... Should we talk around some more? Maybe we can rouse some others. You mentioned uh, that we could hear pained moans from down the hall. Which way is that hall? Yeah, uh, that hall is... Uh, let me see if I can paint. Uh, there's a door in the far side, uh, the eastern part mm. um, of the chamber uh, over here. Oh, uh, I, see, I see. It's not painting for something. This thing right there? Yeah. Okay. Are you able to see my paints? No, uh, I'm probably on the wrong way, as always. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, can I go have a listen at that door? Uh, Just yeah. To those moans. Mm-hmm. Uh, roll a perception check. Ooh, I roll. Uh, perception twenty total. Okay. The moans don't sound like people in pain. They just sort of sound aimless and happening at random intervals, and they sound like they're moving too. Like they they sort of like grow and ebb and pitch slightly. It sounds like there's something out there past here, wandering around and moving. Oh, there's definitely something beyond the door, and but I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't sound pleasant. If we're going to go out there, perhaps we should evaluate to see if there are any more people in this room who we can gather to our cause. Back at five and goes to the next bed. Okay. Uh, the next two beds on the south end of the room are, uh, or I guess tables, are empty. Um, but on the north side of the room, um, there are two more beds that are occupied by bodies. Um, one kind of to the west and one to the east. The east one first. Okay. Um, there is a... In the east, you throw off the sheet, and there is... Um, 
a body that is slightly worse the wear for wear than the two of you. Um, it's a body of a sort of um, somewhat tan skin person with uh, just like very striking cheekbones and just like fine golden blonde hair. <laughs> Too beautiful. Thank you for joining us. Uh, do, you, do you try to wake this person? Yeah, I'll try and like okay, browse yeah. them away. It takes a little bit of doing, unlike with Slim, mm-hmm. who you just throw off the thing, but eventually this person just like sort of <gasps> wakes with a start. Um, Badric, you awake in some pain. Um, take a uh, you're going to start with three damage. Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> it wasn't me. Welcome to the campaign, Bell. <laughs> Take some damage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what do you, what do, you do as, as you wake up? Um, so you're, you're I, I wake up this, and I'm... shifter person. Who are you? Where am I? We were in the other beds, I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> what? Who, we're, we're just what? What kind of elf are you? <laughs> not an elf. Uh, I think Phaedric is very confused keep right saying now. That. Yeah. I don't really understand. Them. Yeah, you you're trying to reach back in your memory to see like what is happening here, and you're having the same problem everybody else is. Wait, what are you? <laughs> Sorry, not not to be rude. You know, uh, fast one. And I turn to you, do you know what that means? Yeah. Um, so we don't know where we are? What, what is this? No idea. All we know is there's some moaning sounds coming from outside. And do I hear the moaning sounds? Um, yeah, you can hear them faintly. Um, I mean, you don't immediately clock them for what they are. Uh, you'd have to roll as well <laughs> as you did on uh, his perception check, but yeah, you can hear them. Okay. And, um, is there, am I injured, like, because there's some pain, right? Am I injured yeah. anywhere, like? You feel, you feel bruised, mm. I think. Mm. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> there are some things on the shelf over there if you want to remedy your state of undress. Oh, am I fully naked right now? Not fully. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? <laughs> like, oh shit. Okay. Just abs out. <laughs> La It's fine Th- by me. Thanks. Uh, I'll get dressed. Okay. Elves are weird about that. <laughs> Why does he think we're elves? <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess I'll. Can I? Look around. Can I? Okay. I guess. Can I try to see what if I can figure out what the where the moaning's coming from, or or what it is? If I can like piece it together, or like yeah. Um, make a what kind of check would this be? Let's see here. Oops. It's gotta be pretty terrifying to like wake up, um, feeling all like fucked up, and then then. Uh, I I'm just gonna kind of be standing, <laughs> standing by the door with my spear out. Make a survival check. I think I have. Rolling directly. Okay. I think I have advantage on survival checks, which might not help too much considering I roll. Uh. Okay. So nine plus five. Fourteen. You can tell um, a little bit. Uh, there are definitely some kind of undead walking right oh, there. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I know why you didn't, didn't pick the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I? Do I notice the? I guess I'll look at the other bed. Yeah, so I think you would notice as, as you're walking out that there's one yeah. body left. Yeah, we didn't. Uncover the last. Yeah, so we last of us. go for it. <laughs> the last of us. Oh boy. So on purpose. Um, yeah, you throw the sheet aside, and find um, there's a woman here with kind of just like dark purple skin, and a sort of like 
starry radiance across it, um, as well as just like pure white hair. Close. Uh, close. Close. I, I only have this hair. token to work with. I don't have the full art. So. <laughs> Dude, my like baby. Blue skin and why do, yeah, why don't, why don't Mid- you... moonlight lilac colored hair. Got to paint the right picture. Yeah. <laughs> um, and as you try and uh, shake her awake, uh, you do wake up. Uh, take Start with one damage. Oh, okay. Sure. If you insist. <laughs> I fly into a rage. No. <laughs> I'm playing a barbarian. What are we talking about? You, you awake in the room with these people and everything I described, you know, like the, the rusty color uh, floor, the blood spatters here and there, the like empty examination tables, the skull over there, and you also feel just like a faint, weird feeling as if you had been stabbed in the back. And it's like, it's like an old wound that hasn't healed yet. Mm-hmm. So like, as I... Rousey wig. I just quickly when I see. I draw you, my sword on you. Oh, Celine, Celine, these people are okay. You know what we do. These people are fine. Hello, Slim. What is going on here? Uh, I don't know, but these people seem lovely. Oh, my head. Where are we? What happens? You're in the mortuary of Seagull. What? I can't believe you all woke up. Doesn't anybody know how to stay dead anymore? <laughs> the skull on the table has started talking. <laughs> oh, I'll put boy. my sword away. Uh-huh. Straight now. I am clothed. Am I unclothed? You're you're basically clothed. Okay. You're like if you if you have any armor or if you have any weapons, that stuff has been taken off and like put in the pile. Okay. But your clothes have not been. Uh, okay. Slim will be at the shelf as soon as he sees you come out from under the sheet and mm-hmm. basically is gathering your stuff against it. Great, you. thank you. I like am equipping myself. Here you go, boss. Thank you. What's this about being dead? What happened? You were all brought in on a cart, like every other debtor in this place. Unlike every other debtor in this place, before you got up off your tables. Not something that happens every day. Well, it happens I'm special friends with death. Well, la di da. So how do we get out of here? Oh, let me uh let me escort you out. Let me just show you the way and walk you right there. Oh, I can't. I'm just a head. I could put you into my head and then we could walk together. What? I'll go over and pick up the skull. Don't, don't, don't do that. Gross, gross, it into gross. Into <laughs> I'll only get a little way in though, and if he, if he seems like he's objecting, yeah, I'll, I'll put it back. He strenuously objects. Okay. Slim, I'm sorry. Talk- I thought we could walk around if you wanted to. We've talked about this. You can't just go putting random objects into your body. They don't belong to you, especially when they're sentient. It's a very convenient way to carry things. But though. there is such a thing as consent, you know. Yeah, what well, you said. That's you don't I... wait until he's already in it to ask. That's why I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, how about we carry you then? Would that, would that work? Would you be able to show us the way out? I uh, actually prefer it here. It's fun. The dusters come in and uh, <laughs> they have no idea what to do with me. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> Admit that I don't. Right. Is there just the one door leading out of here? Yeah. Can we just walk? I'll go up to it and kind of sidle up next to it and try to like very quietly look out and see what's out there. Like, peek the door open okay. and then just take a quick peek and try not to make okay. a lot of noise. Uh, I'm not gonna ask you to roll a stuff check. <laughs> you. <laughs> you pass. I pass. I don't even have to roll, right? You don't oh, have to roll. Uh, let me see if I can do this correctly and be on the right map. Um, so he said the dusters? Yeah. Do they bring the dead people here? Is that what we can infer from that? Slim is basically looking around at thing surfaces now to see it. if there's any visible okay. dust on anything. Uh, yeah, you don't... Um, you don't have to answer that if it's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, he will say, ah, oh, the dusters run this place. Um, you better make sure they 
don't catch you walking up and around. They're not fond of the living. They like me because <laughs> I'm dead. What's up? What are, what are the dusters? Yeah. They're a bunch of nut jobs. Love death, hate life. You know how it goes. Great. This mortuary right here, it's sort of their uh, HQ. Well, I would say it's been a pleasure, but it definitely has not. Slim, we're out. I just start sneaking into the hallway. Right, you are, boss. Same to you, lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, outside the um, outside how, the. How well lit is it? Yeah, there's um. It's sort of dim light. Uh, the light in here is all like sort of um, coming from these wall sconces, which look to be made of bone, and it's a sort of flickering, like dark light. Um, you can see that there are down this hall. There are doors uh, to the north and south, um, close to where uh, the examination table, and in the distance, you can see there's also. Um, a door down there. Uh, the hallway uh, curves left and right. You check the south, I'll check the north. I nod. Uh, I'm going to... Listeners. Is there like a crack under the door or like at the side of the door or anything like this? Or are they pretty well sealed? Um, cracks in... Like under under the one of these doors, the northern door. Oh, the door the no! These doors are not super well sealed. Uh, the door, this door back here, um, on the eastern side of the hallway, that one is very well sealed. You were not going to be able to get used through that one. But the gonna, other ones are kind of like more standard doors. I'm going to lay on the ground mm -hmm. and flatten my head and push it under the door and look up. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're going south through the through the south door. To the north door. Or to the north door. Okay. All right. Let's, let me. Uh, Reveal some more map for you. That was the opposite wall. I think I just disguised some more map for you. Um, <laughs> the real last boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can hide reveal the spot of war. Um. Maybe I'll just describe it for you first. Sure. Um, as you look into the room, um, let's see here. You see that a sort of stage has been set up here. Um, there are a group of skeletons just kind of milling about and watching. Um, they're all like intent and looking at a curtain. And behind the curtain, um, some like, not, well, you don't see anything behind the curtain, but in front of the curtain, there are like some dolls that are just like being puppeted around Ooh. and in a sort of like weird puppet show. Um, puppeted around by? By by nothing that you can see. There's, they're just like, they seem to be moving on their own. And the skeletons, uh, as you slip in, you can see that the skeletons are like the source of some bemoaning. Um, like sometimes they'll just be like, sometimes they'll clap, uh, and then <laughs> sometimes they'll they'll like make like little booing uh, when they don't like the action in the play. Um, and then uh, you can't see anything moving the dolls, but you do hear these sort of like occasional high pitched shrieks. <laughs> Slowly extrude my head back. <laughs> back way uh, Yeah, actually, you should make a self check. Okay. For that. That's good. That's good. I'm pretty good at stuff. Um, 16? Yeah, uh, you're able to get in and out uh, without a problem being spotted. There are a number of skeletons watching a phantom puppet show in there. Lovely. One of the sources of money, probably. Um, I, I say what they can be. Couldn't agree more. While, while he was doing that, you're he, him, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I want to listen at the south door. Okay. While 
he's investigating. All right, I uh, make a perception check. Okay. Uh, okay. I discovered what's going on with our music in this room. Oh. By the way, it's every time I switch to my notes. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. It's a matter of bandwidth, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Cool. Natural one. I've rolled a one and a two so far in this great. campaign. Hey. Off to an amazing start. Yep. This is great. I'm so happy. <laughs> you, you don't hear anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, would you mind taking a peek under this one as well? Of course, boss. Uh, yeah, I'll do the same thing okay. at this door. Uh, roll a stealth check. Yeah. Can I help? Sure. What are you doing to help? Uh... I am holding the door so it doesn't rattle. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah. Uh, 21. Okay, yeah. You are fine. Uh, you are able to get... Um, I'm not going to show the whole thing, but let me just do a little revealing thing. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, the notes. I want to be able to take notes. You had a whole system set up. I know. Take notes. Don't worry about it. You know, I'm not using mine very much. I can cast from mine. You want to do that? Yeah, let's try. Because I'm not really taking notes. Alright, what do we see? Alright, you see... Am I on right there? I'm never on right there. It sucks. Um... <laughs> There is another, um, let's see. As you come in here, kind of the first thing that hits you is just like the intense reek of embalming fluids. Um, like you'd smelled a little bit of formaldehyde in the examination where you, room where you were before, but in here it's like much stronger. And you can see that the reason for that is there is a mortician in a bloodstained apron hunched over this humanoid amalgam of patchwork flesh just like um prone on the um on the table in front of her and she is elbow deep in its flayed open chest with some surgical instruments um and every so often as she kind of digs around in there you can see the creature's limbs sort of like twitch and riot that she hits nerves oh my god uh, yeah i'll pull my head back even worse uh some sort of mortician Elbow deep in a construct of patchwork flesh. Right. It was twitchy. So, another room to avoid. Let's carry if on. we can. What are you two up to, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, at this point, I think I'm... Uh, Phaedric is, like, is peeking around the corner watching you two. Finally all dressed with his hair brushed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makeup done. For sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming! <tell you. laughs> like, looking good. Uh, stretching a little bit. Mm. It's like... And I'll just like walk up behind you, not mm -hmm. sneakily. I'm not a very sneaky person. <laughs> like, clunk, clunk, clunk. So, yes. <laughs> so what's going on? Hi, Phaedric. Uh, hello, Celine. Yes, uh, we are trying to find a way out of here. Yes, that sounds like a plan. So neither of these. These rooms seem to be rooms we do not want to. Um, we don't want to alert their presence because it seems like a pain in the ass if you're asking me. <laughs> Quite frankly. We were looking to have a conversation with someone. Well, I would recommend the south room. However, when I told my boss here, that person was elbow deep in another creature. Well, and if the skull we met is to be believed, these people will not be happy to see us in here. So I would recommend trying to get out of here as quietly as possible. Right. So what do you suggest? Is there another way out? Is it forward? Forward. Forward. I'm slim, by the way. I'll extend a hand and pop out fingers from it. <laughs> I'll stare at it for a second, then. <laughs> You're welcome to come, but try not to make a racket. And I go forward to look down the south hallway. I think uh, Jack did this whole time. He was probably right behind Slim and Celine, and kind of like just arms crossed, kind of just like uh, letting the, the, the masters do their work. I'm kind of impressed, like, it's very, you know, watching Slim kind of go under the doorways of, like, oh, We do seem efficient. a little bit used to this sort of thing, don't we? We do, yeah. Uh, DM, can you mm -hmm. give movement rights to Patrick and Jacket for all of us, please? Oh, yeah. So that we can yeah. move them yeah. on our... Yeah. Thank you. Lord. 
You have a back. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Desperate times. Mm -hmm. For now, we can bump here around. And also, Jackie, if you need time? Yeah. Because Zach's lazy and I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am lazy. You have a, a wireless mouse. You could be moving it. That computer's doing a lot. Of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want me to do that, I can, but. <laughs> that computer has You know? Fun. Um. Alright, that should be ready for you now. Oh, okay, that's why. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> I grabbed Phaedric just as you said. I've got Phaedric. I was like, well, I'm holding him right <laughs> now. Tug of war. He's mine. He's mine. He's mine. <laughs> um, <laughs> down the south hall is a door to the right. Um, if you're, you know, facing south, it's going to be a door to the, uh, I guess, to the west. Um, back towards the. Back toward the room you just kind of came in. Flesh pile. And then um, north is a another door to the west. Um, right before you, um, this door um, to the east, uh, you can see now that you're kind of closer to it, um, there is a very well-used room and dustpan leaning against the wall close to it, um, and the door here is actually open um, part of the way. Uh, it's made of like very thick iron, and you can see that it slides on a track mm -hmm. um, rather than you know opening and closing. Uh, on a hinge. Uh, there are two levers um, set on the wide on either side. Uh, one is blue and one is red. And it... Yeah. Um, can, I, can I grab that um, dustpan and broom? Yeah. If we ever have to blend in with these dusters, good disguise? <laughs> yeah, I got the wrong one, I suppose. Excellent. I'll keep them with me. All right. I'm going to examine the door, maybe get up and with my back up close to it and just kind of peer around and see what I can see on the inside. Oh, the one to the east? Yeah. Or the one to the Yeah, the, the metal one that's on the okay. rail. Um, yeah, yeah, like it's a... slightly open, right? Yeah. Um, let's see here. And I have dark vision, if that matters. I'm superior. Not superior, not on this character. Yeah. I look like a drow, but I'm not a drow. <laughs> It's correct. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Um, make a perception check. Sure. Okay. Come on. Can I help her? Uh, sure. Are you all of a Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, natural 20. Never mind. That's great. I don't have her. Beautiful. <laughs> My other one was a one, so here we are. <laughs> uh, yeah, you look into this thing and you see that it is a very, uh, it's a very clean, which, you know, makes sense, like, since it had the broom and dustpan next to it. Um, and on the wall are, like, these sort of um, grotesque faces set into the wall uh, every so often at regular intervals on either side. Uh, the door at the other side looks like it is identical to this one, except that one is shut closed. Whereas this one is halfway open. Uh, there is a uh, porthole in, like, in the door that you can see through in and out of the hall. In the far door? Or in the, the far door and in this one as well. Does it seem like the faces are... Like, I mean, I've seen my fair share of trapped things. <laughs> Do they seem like they'd be trapped? Like they would be spitting fire or darts or something? I think you'd have to get closer to examine them for that. I will do that. Okay. Very quietly. Okay. Can I fit through the door without opening it further? Has it opened that far enough? Yeah, yeah, okay. it's it's open halfway. And this, okay. this chamber is, you know, uh, 10 feet wide. Okay. Okay. Um, go ahead and make a... Um, Make an investigation check. This, I can do. I also like to start ritual casting detect magic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this is not great. Thirteen. Okay. You examine 
you like walk up to one of these things, like being very careful not to touch anything. Mm -hmm. Um, and you examine the, um, these faces and on a 13, you think that they, they're not traps as such, but they do, they are not also just decoration. There, there is something going on with these, these faces. Yeah. Um, while you're doing that, while you're in there, sort of like, um, kind of like peering at it and just like, not touching, but just like kind of examining it from all angles and looking around to see like, are there wires? Are there like any, like, are there, um, you know, are there, is there any pressure plates, anything like that, that I shouldn't be doing? Um, you hear, and I think the rest of you see the door behind you shut. Um, yeah, and, and cutting her off. Yeah, yeah, Celine is now trapped in this in this chamber. Um, and the, those of you on the other side, um, in in the hallways now, what like as this happens, the positions of the levers flip. Uh, I, I rush. Uh, I rush towards the door. I pull my cloak over my nose about just in case. <laughs> what? Can you hear me? Hello. Can I hear? No, the door is very thick, and the porthole, the glass, is also extremely thick. But you, I can, you can see, see him. I can see. Yeah. So I'll just look through and wave. And wave back. <laughs> I'm miming at him. Yeah. You said the switch has changed, right? Yeah. Can we switch? The can we? I was gonna say, like. You you um you tr- attempt to pull um well, which switch do you pull? Let's go with blue. Okay. Uh, you try and pull the blue lever, but it's stuck in place. You, you just like it won't budge at all. Oh, I, I would, my initial thought is like, can you? Can one of you help me? Like, get maybe if we do these at the same time. Both at the same time? Sure. Yeah. I can like, try the back one. So I'll try to like rever- what we just saw, basically, like try to reverse it and see if it okay. works. Um, you're trying the blue one and you're trying the red one, like, at the same time? Uh, red and blue, but yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're doing the red one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's see here. We explode. <laughs> <laughs> I explode. <laughs> All the places I like killed that. my boss! He's really been wanting to do that for years. <laughs> my own job. Playing the long game. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, the two of you attempt to throw these levers at the same time. Um, your lever remains jammed shut. Your uh-huh. lever works. Mm-hmm. And as it does, um, Celine, you feel and hear for just a second of warning before every face in the room shoots forth a gout of flame. Yep. Yep. Um, make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, so pressed up against the wall like I am doesn't matter. No. Okay. There's no, there's no hiding place. Yeah, there is no hiding place. Okay, cool. Dex save, well. we just Mm -hmm. killed you. That's all right. (laughs) I do not have advantage on this for any reason, except even though knowing, I mean, yeah, knowing it was coming doesn't really necessarily prevent advantage through the power of friendship. No. There's no one in here to help you. No, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Through the pa- Which is pa- probably a good thing for them. Yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine. Natural 20! Oh, oh, no. Alright, you get... So 20. 27. That's as much. <laughs> We're level 3, people. <laughs> he said half as much. Do you hear how much he's rolling? I know. Well, yeah. I mean, I was worried this would happen. <laughs> I was going to be like, mm, maybe don't pull the levers. <laughs> I had a, a bottle of oil in my pack that we could have tried to, like, grease the door in. Anyways, too late now. It's fine. I'm so nervous. How much HP do you have? Oh, no. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if half of what you rolled is higher than... No, if you rolled higher than 40, I'm out. But I rolled 20, higher than 40. Yeah, I only have 20 HP left. <gasps> yeah. The, My max is 21. Yeah. The, You can all see through the porthole, but you can't hear Celine scream. 
as the gouts of flame just just fire and fire and fire and there's nowhere to hide in there and you're like feverishly trying to like jam the thing open and you can't um Celine, can you roll like five death saves yes okay five death saves yeah i'm uh, turning on my death save be- best profile of, best of five i guess jesus christ um, <laughs> and like the whole time i think the rest of the party's like just, like friend trying to get this yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Is, is there anything stuck. that we can do differently like i don't uh Okay, that helps. Because you are literally right me too. <laughs> Where are all my spells? Where are all my spells? <laughs> Not a spell cast. Okay, here we go. I have a crowbar. And I turned it to the death save, I'm so you'll so be able to down. tell by the color if I pass or fail. Right, number one. Uh, pass. Pass. Okay. Okay. Pass. Pass. Okay. Right. I'm still like. <laughs> You're doing great. Fail. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was almost Ooh. a three. <laughs> okay. One more, just for funsies. Yeah. Pass. Pass. All right. Sweet. We'll None of those were a nat 20? None of those okay. were a nat 20. Right, right. I got like two 19. No, yeah. a 19 and a 17. But... All right. Good news. You didn't die. Woo! In the first five minutes of the game. <laughs> again. <laughs> Apparently again. again. <laughs> oh, no, because we sure. started dead. We did, we did start dead. Um... Okay, I'm gonna vote we don't touch the levers yeah. until we figure out and exactly after, what And to um, do. 60 seconds after um, the red lever was pulled, the levers on their own flip back positions, and you're able to pull the door open. I'm gonna reach in and pull Celine out by the yeah. legs. Yeah. Celine looks terrible. Uh, I'm and is like. Yeah. Since I, un- I. Definitely unconscious and at zero HP. Oh, can I use healing hands on her? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, that's so that just the door just closed automatically when I entered the room, basically, uh, or like after a minute. After you're not door. sure why the door closed. Okay. I uh, that's a six. That's not much, but you talk about. I mean, it's enough to get me. <laughs> right. Well, funny. Why you gotta be like I, this? I will say for the rest of you, nothing happened on your end that caused the levers to be flipped. Yeah. They just did. They just did. Yeah. Okay. I would have been happy with one. Right. <laughs> so I kind of cough and. <laughs> Are you. <laughs> what did you do out here? I'm so sorry. I saw them flip and I assumed that, like, we could get you out you like that. Flip. What do you mean? Why did the door close? The, the levers, the blue and red, they they swip, they swapped states, and yeah, yeah, and so we thought put them back how they were, and the door will open. But I but, knew those would be trapped. That's why I was checking them out. Sorry, just like brush the soot off of me. It's a very handy skill you have, right now. Thanks. I it's nothing special. I can do the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know this. <laughs> Yes, but <laughs> you were there, dead and lying on the floor. I, I wasn't, wasn't sure what dead, to do. I was just unconscious. Been through wars. It's a little what, fire doesn't I'm, scare me anymore. It's a little bit tough for me to tell the difference sometimes. Dead, unconscious. Yes, elf, I'm, I'm not aware. elf. I'm, I'm when she says that, when she says I've been through wars, have you? Do you? What do you remember? Do you, any of you remember anything? Not how I got here. It all seems very distant, but I'm sure I've been through worse. Something about being in that fire. Anyway, we don't have time to stay here. I'm sure someone would have been alerted to that, so we have to get out of here. I just start going north up the hallway. Okay. Was there anything else in the let, let me go first, please. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I really insist. Uh, does my detect magic thing go off? Uh, yeah. Okay. You're, you're so, able to do that. Uh, th- yeah. That takes like a, a minute, right? It's like, hang it. Well, well it's ritual casting. Ritual casting. Oh, that's right. That's why I'm like, I can still cast as we walk, but. Yeah, it's not gone off yet. Okay, that's if you want to wait, um, if you want to wait for it to go off, you can, but you do remember back to the skull's warning that you don't want to be caught here by the dusties. And detect magic would get us caught? No, but staying in one place oh, for 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, I can, I can, can I might walk in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But it hasn't happened yet. That's okay. 
Yeah, so Jacket pulled out his uh, leather-bound spellbook, <laughs> which is sentient. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And he'll use that to cast the, the spell. Okay. Uh, Slim, what do you want to do with this door? Um, does it look kind of more like the other two doors? Yeah, this is more, This is one you could squeeze under. Okay, want. we will do the, the squeeze check technique. Okay. Squeeze check. Too bad. <laughs> you want me to be sneaky about it? Yes. Oh, I didn't roll so well. Hmm. Eight. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do something that will help you out, but I have disadvantage on stealth, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Yeah. I'm just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna you close to you, Mikey you. boy. Stay back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Um, as you kind of ooze under the door, mm-hmm. you come into a chamber that's very cold. Oh. Um, does that do anything? Does that interact with your plasmoid physique in any way? Uh, unless it's like. Very, yeah, very it's cold. it's not like frostbite winter cold, but it is then, kept yeah. very chilly. I think you the can feel the difference. In Slim's um, freezing point is much colder than like water, okay. for example. Um, around the room, um, there is uh, some piping in here, and then inset into six slots in the wall are these sort of like um, handles that it looks like you could pull on, um, and from behind one of them. You can hear um, a muffled voice and banging. Oh. Um, I go in and look around. Do they seem... These um, slots in the wall, do they seem like... Like drawers, almost? Like big drawers? Yeah. Um, I'm going to knock on the one that has banging coming from behind it. Mm-hmm. Is someone there? Help! Get me out of here, please! Uh, yeah, yes, I, I'm out here. Um, but just before I open this, I need to know one thing. What? You're not undead, are you? No. Okay. Uh, I will pull open the not door. Not yet. Not yet? That's not very reassuring. I would have to die first, and I don't want to die, please. I'll pull it open. Okay. Can I, um... Insight check. I was gonna voice. say, can can we insight? Are you are you in the room? I thought that Slim had just moved uh, under the door. Yeah, oh, can we not hear from the other side of the door? No, okay. okay. You you can hear a, you can hear voices from the room. Wait, did he, did Slim? Did you fully go under? Yeah, and I left all my clothes and gear. I think Slim just gives this world weary sigh and uh-huh. picks up all Slim's stuff. <laughs> And sticks it, it in her own You pad. don't remember anything, but you remember that you've done this. I've done this before. Yeah. I think I start panicking a little bit, like, is he? But then I see you just, oh, I don't know. <sighs> okay, I guess this is normal. Picking up, putting it in the pack. <laughs> Dusting off the hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see here. So you open the, uh, the door? Mm-hmm. Um, make a... Uh, strength check, please. Is it? Uh, uh, just just regular strength. Just regular strength. How are we doing inspiration in this campaign? Oh, good question. Um, I think I'm gonna try to award you inspiration the regular way, okay. just like when you do things that I think are cool. Cool. Okay. That's a five. Yeah. Um, oh. you you pull on it and you quickly realize why this person can't get out. Because this door is, it's like, the drawer is jammed. It's stuck. Hold I just, know it's stuck. Hold just a moment. You think I've been here for my hell? I just <laughs> met someone who looks very strong. Let me go get him. And I will go and open the door into this room. Okay. And then the rest of you feel this, like, wash of cold air opening as the door opens and you can see inside as well. Patrick, was it? There's a, yes. a drawer that needs unsticking. Okay, sure. Hello? Hi. Please let me know. Can I do an insight check now? Yes. <laughs> okay. 
I'm going to be just like in the background handing Slim all of his stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, she. Robe goes oh, back oh, on. That's very. This is insight, right? Uh, 15? Um, this person is definitely afraid that they're going to die in here. Um, yeah. Because they're they're either going to starve or suffocate, and they're very glad that you came along, and they're very yeah. impatient to be rescued. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same. So <laughs> I'm gonna. It's it's a door, right? I'm gonna try yeah, yeah, yeah. to unjam it. On the okay. Yeah. Kit. You give it. You give it a huge tug, and it. There's some give, but uh, well, make a strength check. Uh, regular strength. It's a regular strength. So that's plus my strength multiplier, yeah. right? So that's eighteen. Okay. Nice. And it it takes a bit of doing, but you manage to just like yank it open. Finally, mm. it it gets there, and the person inside just sort of like tumbles out every tea kettle off the uh, off the thing, and just like is at your knees and looking. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's um. A sort of like very sallow skinned person in these yeah. um, very drab gray robes. Um, just a very, just like a really sorry looking individual. I'm gonna try to help them stand up. Uh, oh, just like you. give them hands. Like, I, I, are you okay? How long have you been in here? Oh, I just, I just did my first day here. I didn't know it would be like this. Do you know where we are? Don't you? We're at the mortuary. Do you work here? Now I do. Can I have that room and duster? Oh, right. Tools of your trade? What? <laughs> so you say you work here now. What do, what do you mean by that? I mean, I'm, I'm here to sort of oversee the, the workers. But Inside I... of a drawer. work. Well, I, I was tired, and I wanted to take a nap. Oh, so you weren't put in there. You put yourself in there. It seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> um, okay, there. I didn't catch your name. What was your name? Oh, I'm Froth. Froth. That's a hard name. What's your Frost. name? Um, Why what? are you alive? Why are you all alive? Well, I could ask the same of you. <laughs> Not by choice. Uh, listen, we really want nothing more than to get out of this place, so could you direct us to the exit, please? Uh-huh. Uh, well... You see him consider this. I only know how to get out the way I came in, and... You would have to get past a lot of people who would try to kill you. Um, the only thing I can think of is... I was attending earlier today the, um... Uh, the chute. You might be able to climb up through the chute into oh, Sigil. Great, where is this chute? What's a Sigil? It's the city where we all are. Oh. Does that ring a bell for any of us? Not a single one. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's, um, so if you leave this room and and go down the hall and take, he does the, like, left-right thing with his hands, <laughs> mm -hmm. and take a left through the, uh, through the, um, crematorium corridor, and, um, once you're on the other side of that, it, it should be a very simple right and then a right, and then you should be in the chamber. I where the shoot the is. Crematorium of that Chris. She's still like smoking. I'm like still smoking. <laughs> <laughs> what? How did like sit? You seem seat. to have had an awful accident. Were you trying? Were you seeking the true death? Sure. Oh, well, I don't. Maybe you do want to die after all. This is a good place for it. Things will kill you. As we've seen. How do you get through the crematorium without setting off the flames? Well, it's... you just don't pull the lever. It's not simple, is it? But the other door was I look closed. at Slim like... 
Someone closed the door? Oh! Oh, oh, yes. Probably a worker on the other side. Yes, I closed gathered the door. as much. Yes. How do you get it open from this side? From this side? Yes, is it possible? Uh, well, it's... there's a... The way it works, you see, is once it's closed, it remains closed for one minute. Uh, to prevent accidents like the one you've had. Yes. Um... But nothing can open it once it's closed, apart from the time release lock. I see. <laughs> <laughs> he feels really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't your fault. It was I'm going so off. You weren't the one who pulled the lever. That was him. <laughs> yeah, but I told him to. <laughs> so it's Pedro's like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I understand. Alright. So if we go back there... We should be able to just walk through if the a minute has passed. If the worker on the other side doesn't see you, I suppose so. Why don't you go first? Um, I'm Lead good. the way for us. I'm good. I belong down here, and you don't. None of you do. Which is why they're going to Why are you trying to leave? Um, I did see. There's one other person we could ask, and while we while I ask them, I might as well tell them we pulled you out of a drawer. Where you were locked in. Oh, there was please. there was a mortician. Don't tell me what I was she was working. She was elbow deep. Yes. Yeah, I could tell her and then see if she would let us out. Um. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> please don't tell Jess that I was loafing on the dock. Well, it's that or you guide us out of here. Those are the only two ways that I see. I'm sure if you lead the way, they won't close the door on us. All right. Make an intimidation check, actually. Intimidation. Want me to do it? Can I help? Uh, yeah, whoever is... I, I think it should be slim, because you're uh, the yeah. one. Kind of... I will gladly take help, though. Yeah. Uh, minus two yeah. in this. I can help you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, I got a ten. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, ten is average. Ten is average. <laughs> ten, I think, is enough for this right. guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is not a tough guy. You don't need a lot to intimidate him. He's already having a pretty bad day. <laughs> um, okay, okay. I, mm, I, I don't want a painful death. I was hoping for more sort of slip under as I sleep death. Um, but I can see you're not the sort of people who would grant me that kind. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll lead the way. Sounds good. After you. Okay. What did they find? Okay. Um, do you wait for a to go first? Yeah. Heck yes, we do. I think so, yeah. 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 We'll get back to the right layer again. So all Is someone, like, right behind him on his heels? Like, I could be right behind him. Okay. Mm. okay. Um, Freth goes down to the door and, like, kind of motions for you to follow him. Um, give me a second here. Let's check something real quick. I have too many tabs open. Okay. It's going to be a constant issue for me. Mm-hmm. That's an issue for all of us. Yeah. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Do I want to be hunting here? Oh, it's easy to come out Um. I will need everyone to roll a stealth check. Oh no. Easy peasy. Reading from. <laughs> Do you? Are you wearing. <laughs> I'm a blood hunter? What are you wearing? Uh, steel. Oh. It's <laughs> Breath got a natural 20. Great. I love that for... Oh, that's already bad. I got a 19 on die. So. <laughs> it got worse. I rolled a 4 and then a 2. Great. Plus 1. So I got a 3. Okay. 28. 28. <laughs> <laughs> Level 3. <laughs> what did you get? 50. 50? 15. 15. Okay. <laughs> what did you get? Not 50. Jacket is really good. So. <laughs> 14. And, and, okay. Yeah, 14. Okay. Same season, yeah. <laughs> um, you, you all tread as quietly down the hall as you can. 
Um, and unfortunately, Phaedric's armor <laughs> gives the group of you away. Okay. And it just a clank, clank, clank. <laughs> and once again, the group of you see the door. And this time, you this time the cause is more apparent as the door is just like boom with a big with a big clang as both of them slam shut. This time you can see on the other end, on the east end, through the porthole, there's a zombie looking at the group of you, just sort of like tilting its head back and forth for a second. And then you Before can he has a chance to do anything mm-hmm. while he's looking. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pull out my necrotic shroud. Okay. What does that do for you? Uh he has to make a charisma saving throw. Okay. Zombies are not great at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, roll the two on die. <laughs> and then what happens? Uh, now he's frightened of me. Okay. Until the end of my next turn. Not immune to being frightened. So, yeah. Okay. Um, you see, as as you're, like, right before you uh, put up this, like, necrotic shroud, you see his hand start to move toward a lever, and then, the, then you're, like take a quick action and then you can't hear him but you can see (laughs) and then like sort of he doesn't run off with the speed that which you expect your enemies to do when you use this but Mm -hmm. he does sort of like shuffle slowly off uh the group of you are still trapped in here for a minute but the fire doesn't go off so the necrotic shroud yeah the rest of you see is that Celine? Normally, her eyes are kind of this kind of e- like what's the word? Not effervescent. Is that the word? No. Iridescent. Iridescent. Yeah. Shine, but slightly glowing, um, like very light lilac color. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they all just completely go black. Ooh. Everything. Mm-hmm. The whites, the irises, and everything. Um, and then you see like kind of black, like ooze come out a little bit of her eyes, and then. Um, she sprouts these like ghostly um like gossamer like bat wings mm. kind of um and she kind of looks like a creature out of a nightmare yep that's it um and she says all this is up slim get through that door quickly this is what holds her all i mean this only holds for six seconds Oh. So if you can squeeze through it. Uh, I thought this door was pretty well sealed. Yeah, this door is completely sealed. Someone tried to keep that door open. And I'll try to get it open. Unless you have another way to keep that zombie from coming back and hitting that lever. Oh, I'll, I'll, sure, I'll try to open it. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> try and, you try and try, and it's just... This was well constructed not to let anyone in, and it's more really to let not to let people in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it has the unfortunate side effect of not letting people out. Yeah. yeah. However, the minute does pass on it. It looks like right. whatever you did scared the zombie off, and it's not right. eager, not eager to come back. Right. Okay. Yeah. After six seconds, yeah. the image kind of fades, and she's back to normal. <laughs> uh, and then the door, it doesn't like swing open, but you do hear a sound as the the catches on it release mm-hmm. and um phage like you're able yeah, to pull the door yeah and selling is probably the most eager to get out of this one <laughs> <Before, laughs> I think that the second that we get out i turn to fro mm-hmm. and i i just i think, I think him him I yeah, him. yeah. I, I, yeah thank you uh, is that all you need or do you need me to actually go to the shoot with you yeah, it'd be great if you could show us the way <laughs> Very quickly, I think he's like right. He, he might be first out yeah, yeah, of yeah. the door. Oh no, second. Second out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he kind of um, points uh, to the south and says, uh, you, you see that door to your right? That's the chute where I was working this morning. Um, you may be able to climb up. The, that's where the bodies are delivered from the streets of Sigil. Uh, out of curiosity, did we come through the chute this morning while we were working? He thinks about this for a second and says, no. Interesting. I don't... 
I assume... What? Wait. I have been working all day, and there are no bodies in the examination room other than the ones I've delivered there, but I didn't deliver any of you there. How did you get in? Is someone angling for my job? <laughs> this very much sounds like a you problem, dear. Thank you for the directions. You're welcome. Can I get back to work now? By all means. I just start heading, following yeah. the directions. Fro we will tell Jez. Thank you. Thank you, Fro. Um, in this corridor, let me show you some more of it. Where did he say to go? He right. said to south. go south and then take the door on the right. South. Okay. I have pythons. Pythons? Pythons? Pythons. 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 I have pythons and a rope. Depending on how long the shoot. Never mind. Who are you thinking you could just turn yourself into a very long rope? <laughs> <laughs> I can extend a very long arm, but it's not very strong. <laughs> yeah. Um, there is a door um, sort of right in front of you, leading east. Um, That's not the one he told you, at least shoot. And there's a door to the west, um, up to the north. Mm. There's also another door all the way to the north. Um, and then to the south, there is that door to the west that he said, the... Uh, the bottom, the, like, the corpse collection room, basically, is down there. Alright, we'll head down there. Okay. Check it out. We'll see through the door. Mm -hmm. Um, make a perception check. Uh, I believe that's a uh, Yeah, fifteen. Which one are you checking? Oh, yeah, the one I'm right in front of there. Yeah. Uh, you hear nothing. Great. I'll try the handle. Okay, it opens, and inside, as soon as you open this door, don't worry, not, like, nothing is going to jump out of you, but uh, as you open the door, you're hit with this stench that's like powerful and rancid, and you like have to gag um, just at the accumulated smell of dead bodies just piling up inside, and you can see inside it's this really foul, bare chamber. Uh, most of it, the back wall is taken up by this big metal chute, um, but the floor is just spattered with gristle and gore. And um, in the far corner, there's a, a cart that's been overturned, and just corpses are, pop are toppling out of it. Um, yeah, and that's what you see inside. I'm gonna go check out the chute and see if there's okay. any any sounds coming from above? If there's any, any possibility of something falling on our heads while we attempt this? <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, slumbers. Okay. What are the rest of you do? Casting and detect map. Oh, I think that's gone off by now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, it's like casting. Yeah. <laughs> Stick in your guns, man. This whole time, Jack has just been muttering to himself. Then no help. He's back there muttering. Yeah. I'm like reading the book, and I'm like, uh, that's good. yeah. It's just following us. Yeah. All right. In this room, do I see anything? Anything magical? I see no. Right. Yeah. All right. Spell well cast, everybody. Okay. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> There's nothing magical I about it. Spell. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have anything magical to that can get us out of this chute without having to climb. Mm -hmm. Let me see. As you kind of like peer up and, and just like look into the chute, um, you look up and through, and you can sort of maybe see a light at the very end of it. It looks like this does lead somewhere, um, possibly to the street above, as Fred told you. And then up to the light, you see something, and then the light sort of like flickers and shimmers, and you realize something is falling down the chute, and mm -hmm. you barely get out of the way as a corpse just like. And tumbles into the room. Um, it just like lands with this very weird splat sound. And as you look at it, um, you see that it seems sort of like its flesh seems sort of like puffy and just like bloated. And immediately you see the reason for that as 
this sort of oozy creature comes up through the mouth oh and just gosh. like comes out and it's just like keeps spilling out and out and out and everyone needs to roll initiative. Yeah. Alright. Oh no. Um, Alright. It's one of your people, so <laughs> I'm the same thing. Okay. Oh nice. Wait, That's a point. Have an nice. Advantage uh, on initiative? Why, why do I have advantage on initiative? Okay. Let me get some stuff going. I'm not as good at running these counters as anything. That's unfortunate. It's just a lot of practice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so Phaedra gets 16. I don't know why. Oh, it might be my right here. I don't know. I apparently have advantage on initiative. Phaedra says what? Here we go. Phaedra, what? Phaedra? Uh, 16. Oh, shit. 23. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Level 3! <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and easy. Plus 0, so I got a 20. Oh, hey. You roll another nat 20. Good roll Everyone's doing really good at initiative. What was Slim's? Uh, 19. Okay. Dang, everyone's really good at initiative. Oh, yeah. This is a first for me, honestly. Did you use my short? Your short gives you? Yeah. Oh, that's and it means it warns me of danger but not fire none of us can be surprised oh wait i ha- i have a plus two bonus to initiative too yes was okay. that already in your initiative bonus oh i don't know how do i know that like initiative is normally dex plus proficiency oh. yeah oh dex where does your plus two come from from the shield. Equipped. Yeah. So, if I'm already being there. No, no, because it, so it's, you said it's the exerting plus proficiency, proficiency, so it's separate. Yeah. Yeah. So, mine was 18. Okay. Yeah. Hey, even better. <laughs> why isn't it? Yeah, it should add in there. I don't know why it didn't do that. Maybe it's because it's a customer? Yeah, maybe. I'll check it out later. Okay. Even with 18, you're still fourth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but um, yeah, so none of us can be surprised because yeah. of my sword. Just put that out there. Sweet. Ever. Unless we're. Oh, sweet. Yeah, you're not surprised. Yeah, even if we're even if we're sleeping. <laughs> cool, cool. Good to know. <laughs> Just throw it out there. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, Celine, you're up first. Oh, fuck. Uh. <laughs> there is a large. It's it's actually. Um, this stuff congeals into like a very large black oozy form that's in the middle. Well, I mean, do I know how well piercing works on stuff like this? Um, have you ever tried to stab slim? Probably. <laughs> that might not be accurate. Piercing works just fine on slim. I don't know if we're well on this. I know. Oh man. Okay. I was just trying to see if I get sneak attack. I mean, are we all basically within five feet of it? Yeah, we are. Yeah, you are. You are. Okay. Oh, I see. No. Okay. So yeah, I'll just um take out my trusty uh rapier, mm-hmm. the Raven's Whisper, and stab it. Okay. Roll to hit. Yes. There we go. Okay. Right. Oh my God. It doesn't love me. That uh, was a two on die. So that's a nine. Hits. <laughs> it hits. Oh, it's very, Excellent. very difficult to miss this thing. I will say. Good. Because <laughs> I wanted to do my first sneak attack of the campaign. Um, what cut is the uh, rapier? Right it's piercing damage. Uh, yes. Okay. I believe yes, and it's magical damage because it's a magical. Weapon. Oh, that's magical. Great. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's. I believe that's the symbol for piercing. So one d eight. Let me see where my dice are. Where is my... this one. And then I get... my sneak attack is... 2d6. Okay. And we'll do this one and this one. And then what am I adding for this? Martial classes, baby! Plus five. Okay, so that is... 10, 12, plus 5, 17 piercing damage. Mm, very good. 
As she just, like, she was ready for it. She just, like, slides in with her rapier, the way you've been whispering, and just, like, mm-hmm. she yeah. just go bobs it. And it, it looks like, it the way it quivers and just, like, and writhes, it looks like that was a good hit. Great. Uh, next up is Jacket. Uh, Jacket is going to... Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I do have cunning action. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Your turn's my not turn's over. not over. The K classic. <laughs> no, well, you... I didn't know you did it, but I knocked it. But I still have a bonus action. Yeah. I'm <laughs> just saying. You keep moving on. Bonus action, disengage. Okay. And I'm going to back up. Okay. Away from it, because I only have six. <laughs> That's good. So, I'm just going to... Probably one, two, three, four. I'll just move over into this corner. Okay, now my turn's over. Okay. All right. Jacket. Actually, hang on. <laughs> um, it's, I think this just applies to Slim, but Slim, you need to make a. No, uh, no, 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 no. Make a dexterity save. Uh, Pretty good at those. I'm supposed to be. <laughs> uh, nine. Okay. Um, as you fight, you hear another sound of <laughs> more bodies fall down the chute. <laughs> oh my God. And Slim, you're just like clocking the head by a flying body. Um, let's see, you take... That's the layer action, that body from... That's the layer action. That's amazing. Oh my god. Level uh, take, 3, we're getting layer actions Take already. 4 bludgeoning damage. Okay. And yeah. you're prone. Jeez. And I'm prone? Uh-huh. Alright, condition taken. Okay. Uh, Jacket is your turn. Um, Jacket's turn. He's a wizard. He does not want to be next to the. You're a wizard, Jacket! Jerry, let's see. I had to. I, I had to. Uh, I kind of want to just disengage and go stand next to Selene. Okay. <laughs> that's a thing you can do on your turn. And then, that's it. Alright. Do you have any bonus actions? Nope. Do you want to stand uh, north or, or west of Selene? Um, west. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that it? That's it. Okay. Uh, Slam, you're up. Okay. Um. Oh, Slim knows a thing or two about oozes. Um, first of all, Slim is going to kind of tactfully uh, dodge around this thing, mm-hmm. not leaving its range, but getting Absolutely. away from the shoot. Mm-hmm. Um. Slim has very like light footwork, um, and it's almost like there's, there's a, like a dance like poise to it. Um, and he will. He's got like a spear jammed into his back that he could pull out to to hit this thing, but he's going to actually just opt uh, to throw a couple punches and kicks at it instead. Okay. So I will do. Uh, yeah, I will do some unarmed strikes. Okay. Let's go! Can't say much. Uh, 13 to hit. That hits. Um, that's 8 bludgeoning damage. Mm-hmm. Um, take 3 acid damage in return as touching this thing um, causes like a severe pain. Can I take one acid damage face. instead? Yeah, I think that was <laughs> You're intelligent. Oh, actually? Uh, that was six, you said? Uh, yes. Um, and Slim's hand comes away and it's sizzling a little bit from mm-hmm. the contact, but he just kind of shakes it and says, better me than the spear. Uh, and he'll punch it again with mm-hmm. a bonus action. Mm-hmm. I can do that. I don't think I need to use my flurry of blows yet, so it'll just be regular one. 
Uh, yeah, that's also going to hit because that's twenty-one. Okay, yeah, that'll hit. It's That's great. Mm-hmm. Wait, how much damage did it take on the first time? Six, it I think. Should have been eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I do one d four and I roll the four plus four. Gotcha. So, uh, this time it's seven. Good rolls. Uh, so that's my action, my bonus action. Um, and then, make sure this works. Oh, there it is. Imagine it. Okay. okay. Oh no, I'd have to be holding my weapon. Okay, so that doesn't apply. Alright, that's my turn. Okay. Um... Then that makes it Fajic's turn. Do I take any acid damage for the second punch? No, just the, 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 I think it's like so once per time. Okay. Well, no, it does say any any a creature that touches a pudding or hits it with a melee attack. And you did hit twice, so I'm gonna roll again for the second one. Seems fair. Uh, take uh, five rounded down. Or two. Take so two again. Yeah. That's All my right. turn. Now it's Fajic's turn. So, aside from Goop, what is this thing? What is it looking like? Does it look like... It's a big... It's a big pile of Goop, and it seems yeah. like it's acidic. <laughs> and it seems acidic? Yeah. Does it seem sentient, or like... Really hard to tell. At this okay. Point. It hasn't really done anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it did, came, it did come from a dead body. So yeah. probably it's not going to do anything good to you. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm gonna stand next to Slim, maybe north of Slim right now, and I'm gonna whack it with my long sword. Why not? Okay. Or try to. <laughs> <laughs> so I can do math 15. The hit. That will hit. Is your long sword magic? Okay. Um, you now have a permanent minus one to damage rolls with that long sword. As it, um, as like it eats into the goop, like the metal begins to sizzle and boil a little bit. Oh, um, no, tears of the kingdom. <laughs> also, also from the splash, you take four acid damage. Fuck! Oh my goodness. Um, how much damage did you do? Wait, that was what? That was uh, uh it was to, it was fifteen to hit. I haven't rolled damage yet. Oh okay. Um, but you but this was a, a slashing attack. Uh, yes, it's okay, slash. Okay. So does he get full damage on this hit and then going forward doesn't has a minus one? Yeah, on, on this hit, full damage, and then going forward, okay. have a minus okay. one to, to everything. Oh, okay. So this is a uh, six plus two, eight. Okay. Yeah, slashing damage. I have terrible news for you. Oh, great. The worst part of all that, your, your sword got damaged, you got damaged, and this doesn't seem to hurt the thing at all. Actually, no, that's not the worst part, because what happens... <laughs> Christ. You cleave this thing in two. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh boy. I think he's having a rough day. <laughs> Clearly. He's like, I. What did I do? Why is this my hell? That was slashing damage? Yeah. yeah. I did that? Yeah, let's not do that. Give me a second to introduce your new combatants. Oh boy. Right. It's just what we needed. I did try to warn you about the weapon, though. I did. Did, did you? <laughs> I thought I did. But in my hands in the spear. Whose spear? Mind. Who has a spear? <laughs> I have a spear. You you have arrows. I also have arrows. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Yes, I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Done. Nothing more damage. Yeah. Um, in that case, uh, both of these are going to attack. One is going to attack um, Phaedric, and one is going to attack Slim. Um, let's see. Phaedric, what's your AC? Uh, 18. Okay. Well, it misses you. Um, and then Slim, what's yours? Uh, I was just checking that. 16. Alright, it will hit you. 
Um, take, let's see, uh, six bludgeoning and 18 acid damage. Whoa! So you guys take nine of that. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, Slim's not looking so good anymore. Yeah. Uh, um, and that is the end of its turn. How do these look? Do they look at, like pretty healthy or are they both? Injured just because of the previous. They both they both seem kinda injured. Okay. Um they definitely don't have the same it's really hard to tell with the slime. Yeah. But they don't have the same sort of like vibrancy and buoyancy that that original slime did. Mm-hmm. They're smaller, but they also seem a little bit injured. Okay. Um Alright, then we are back up to Sony. I don't have time for this. I'm gonna go up and try to stab one of them with my Raven's Whisper. Mm-hmm. Move up my feet. Do I die? Well, let me check, double check something real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect. Yep. So we're gonna do, we're gonna attempt that. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um. Uh, that is a 16 to hit. That hits. So we're going to do sneak attack. Uh, take one acid damage. I didn't have to take acid the first time. I know, I, I, I was being acid damage all but I forgot. Oh. Well, one acid damage is not bad. Yeah. Could have um, been worse. Could be much worse. Um, okay, so that is... Uh, 14 piercing damage, and I'm also going to use my, um, rogue feature, Whales from the Grave. Mm -hmm. So she, she basically strikes this rapier in, and as she does, um, you hear these kind of haunted whispers. (laughs) And both this creature and the other one are going to take, um, 1d6 necrotic damage. Okay. Hopefully they're not immune to necrotic damage. Oh wait, no, sorry. Only the second creature takes this. Oh, so the one uh, to the north? Yeah, the one I did not strike with my river. Sorry, it says right here you also deal with necrotic damage to the first creature, but that's only when I get to level 17. (laughs) We're definitely not there right now. (laughs) Okay, so the second creature is going to take... Level 3. Yep, 5 necrotic damage. Okay, thank you. Um, And it looks like that worked. Um, and then I'm gonna disengage and back into the corner again. Okay. Because that was a free action that I got to do with my throat feature. Sweet. Um, I'll be like, take them out quickly. We can't take any more hits. Um, the, uh, everyone in the room hears the as bodies more bodies drop down the chute but <laughs> none of you are close to the chute enough for anything to happen so you're all fine well does it hit the slime or... it does not hit the slime <laughs> okay. um then it's jacket's turn jacket will use his spell book and he will cast um uh, i don't know what so yeah i think he has like a quick conversation with the spell book but i need something to damage these things and then you see the spell book just like change pages and then land on a page and he's like that one and then he casts it looks like you're trying to win a fight <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> um he casts magic pencil okay and he will <laughs> can i like in case this the south one dies before all three darts go out can i like just do damage 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 or do uh you, like, yeah you can do damage damage but just sign them all at the same time uh, no, you can, you okay. can. Alright, so let's just roll one, one minute happen. Um, I think it's the guards, so level one. This one. Yep, three one guards, okay. So 1d4 plus one, and he's just hit. First one is two damage. Okay. Second one is five damage. Okay. Is that one? Nope, still going. Still going, okay. Then it is four damage. Still going. Okay, that's what wow. I got. That's a lot of it. So you see these three magic darts strike the south, the south is the same one that Selene hit. Mm-hmm. And uh, then he's like, all right, well, I guess I'll ready uh, another one. And uh, that's his turn. Okay. 
Um, Slim. My turn. Woo! Uh, I don't have the HP to be punching these things anymore. <laughs> um, I'm going to disengage with a <laughs> key point uh, to do Step of the Wind. Okay. And I'm going to come down over here by, uh, well, a little bit away from Jacket. Um, uh, so Jacket has a quarter staff sticking out of his pack, if you want that. No, it's okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that would work. I will against... pull out my um, short bow, I believe it is, I have. Mm-hmm. That's what these arrows are for. <laughs> um... Have it equipped. Give me a second. Well, it's a long bow. Where is. This is a great bow that does 1d12 damage. There it is. There's my attack for it. Uh, I will pull out my long bow and fire a shot with it at that southern ooze. Okay. Uh, 16 to hit. That hits. So that's. So nine piercing damage. And this ooze goes down, just like collapses into a puddle. Very familiar looking puddle to that the one you saw. <laughs> mm. Um and then as a bonus action, because I'm a Kensei monk, okay. I will fire another shot. Okay. I can replace my martial arts with that. Uh eleven to hit. That hits. Uh nine damage to the other end. Okay. It's still up, but that did hit. That did do damage. One down, one to go. Um, is that the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. Phaedric. He's gonna like, like swish his hair a little bit. Mm. Oh my god. Let's try something different. That's for all the prisoners save now. <laughs> <laughs> we all have yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can withstand this. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Starstruck. <laughs> So, um, uh, I think I'm gonna take my longsword and, like, kind of, like, cut through, like, my hand and use Crimson Right, and I'm gonna, in, like, imbue mm-hmm. my, yeah. my weapon with, like, the Right of Flame. So, okay. like, it's gonna deal, uh, fire damage and the damage that my weapon does now is magical. Okay, great. I'm also on this. I'm gonna take 1d4 necrotic damage from that, which okay, that's called, which is a two, but that's half to because I'm because I'm an Asimar. Yeah, is that did I say that right? As- Asimar. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that's half. So minus one for me. Wow. Um, that's pretty. Didn't consider that. That's a good combo that good I combo. just realized. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Um, so I'm gonna go for the long sword attack, but now it's uh. <laughs> that you roll like, you away rolled so much, like, yeah. <laughs> across the um, table. That's a uh, twenty to hit. Uh, Thirty twenty. To hit. That definitely hits. Um. Okay. So, uh, how does the effect that you told me about, like? Is it going to be a minus one regardless? If you... Yeah, it's it's this attack because you've turned your weapon into a magic mm-hmm. weapon will not incur that penalty. Okay, gotcha, but gotcha, gotcha. You do still have the minus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's for regular attacks yeah, with yeah, yeah. blocks. Okay, gotcha. Well, no, it's going to apply to this one as well. It just won't degrade further. Oh, understood. Yeah, understood, understood. Well, that's scary. It's getting worse. <laughs> This is just a game. Okay. We should deal an additional one before. Sorry about that. Six. Six what? Five. Uh. (laughs) Okay, don't. Well, when you're ready in effect, attacks made with this weapon are magical and you deal an additional 1d4. So is it... The regular attack is like magical. It's magical slashing. Magical it's magical slash. slashing is 4 and then, and then 2, two uh, fire. Two fire. Okay, yeah, two fire. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you add your ability spare modifier to the 4? 
Did, was it four on die or did you add stuff to it? What did you roll? I rolled my d8. d8. What did you roll the d8? A two. Oh, okay. Plus two Plus from two. my um, something. Or something. And then what else yeah. did you get? Oh, wait, you're awesome. Shit. Ooh. <laughs> well, there goes my nuts. <laughs> no. It's okay. Um, what did you. Where is your weapon? Show me your weapon. So, <laughs> so it's this one? So oh, you have it's a plus, plus six. six. Minus one. Because That's why I was asking. Right I'm yeah. like, yeah. Really low. Yeah. Plus one, and then plus two from your other thing. So, so it's. Plus seven. And then, so it was four mm -hmm. plus seven. 11. You rolled a two on die. Yeah. So two plus seven. Well, plus the other two. Oh, oh no. Yeah, Jeez. I added that because my I unplugged my oh, thing, okay. so it'll it'll get there. I know. Uh, I, I added the, that to the seven. Oh, you added that to the seven. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, so okay. two plus seven is nine. Yeah. So it was nine magical slashing damage. Yes. Plus the two fire. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There Great. we go. Yeah. So, so cool. Cool. This we can actually. Can we? Mm -hmm. Question. Yeah, yeah that's the question. Uh, I did over. realize mm -hmm. uh, just moments ago that mm -hmm. I doubled up on bonus action. Oh, I'm still learning how to monk. Oh yeah. So I, I so it doesn't have up with the wind. Oh uh, yeah. So it's so you don't you didn't get the second shot. The second shot. How much damage did that do? Do you remember? I don't. And I wasn't taking good enough notes to find out. Are they, uh, for the sword, uh, no, is it a minus one to damage, or damage. Minus, but not to hit? But not to hit. Okay, so sorry. So let's see. Damage on the minus mm -hmm. one. Do have any, does anyone have any idea how much yeah. HP I should give yeah. this thing back? Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay. okay. Eight? Sweet. Okay. You can actually okay. add a plus two oh, right, actually. Cool. Or well the, for the other bars that isn't deactivated for some reason, so it would actually be plus one to bonus. There you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> math. And then you don't have to worry about adding it every time you just look at what's written there. Sweet. Thank you. Okay. We've got it. It's Sorry. Nice, everybody. I, yeah, I unplugged my tablet and then turned <laughs> off. And that's why we lost that. Oh, I see. Because <laughs> okay. I leaned over and it was like, pop! Oh! Right off the wall. Sorry. Um, Fajit, you charge up your sword and just like cleave into this thing with magical fire damage. Um, mm -hmm. Nothing happens to your sword. You are going to take a little bit of passive damage yeah. um, as a result. Um, so go ahead and take oh, 08 acid damage. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so glad you didn't hold that high on me. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been dead. It's out here. Yeah. Um, I got five hit points left, y'all. And, and at, the, at the edges of the cut, the fire just sort of like singes this thing um, as it splits into two. Yep. Oh, I got me. Do you have any other weapons? No. <laughs> I have a short sword. <laughs> that probably also does slashing. Actually, I think well, short swords are piercing. 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 Well, they're so oh. tiny. Yeah, the little bitty bitty guys now. Are, can we just befriend them now and take them with us? I <laughs> scoop them up in a jar. Scoop them up, up yeah, in a jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is their turn, so you're about to find out if they're still hostile or if they're little bitty. Ooh, I hope they're my friends. Yeah. Watch them do 18 acid damage. <laughs> Uh, they are both going to attack you, Faith. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, what's your AC? Uh, 18. Okay. Thank God. Uh, the first one is going to miss. Okay. Second one. Miss it, Also misses. Yay! Yeah. 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 That's what they rolled a, a 12 and a 13. <sighs> okay. Um, we are back up to Slowly. Give me just a second as I'm just getting my third sheet back, back up. I really thought I ate with that, with the whole like, oh, I'm gonna make it magic and make yeah. things better. Nope. <laughs> so, well, still does the magical slashing though. That's the um, uh, yeah. For those of you listening in from home, my tablet is on its last legs, and if it gets unplugged from power, it just shuts down. So I am rebooting my character sheet and everything. Uh, no, it's up. It's you got up. it. Okay. Um, okay, my turn. You can be not casting. I was, was casting. Cast. Oh, why you were we casting. Lost yeah. it. Oh, yeah. okay. That's why. Oh, that's right. Because of the music issue. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So if if you'll try and figure out. Yeah, it's maybe. Good. Let's see. Roll twenty is still booting up, but so there's I can't. No, oh, I. I can't see what we're doing right yeah. now. But okay, thank you. So we've got two little ones. Mm -hmm. Two little guys. They're just two. little guys. Uh, do they look like they're equally damaged? Yes. Okay. They look identical in just about every respect. 
people. It was a very clean cut that Phaedra made. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Um, <laughs> well, I don't want to really get close to them. So I'm just going to take out my short bow. Shoot an arrow. Okay. At them. Because I don't want to take any more acid damage. So <laughs> All right. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well that's a ten. A hit. Still. I rolled a three on nine. Yeah. Um, okay, so this time I get You get sneak attack because of the phaser, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So ooh, that's twelve. Cool. Piercing damage. Not magical, just piercing. Damage. Good to know. Um, and then I am going to cry. <laughs> well, don't cry too much Is because the, the one that you attacked collapses into a pile of goo. Yes. Yay. Great. Um, also, that arrow that you fired at it just like sputters and melts and is destroyed. Yes. <laughs> is the so wooden part also? Or the wind part also. So the metal and wood doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, Do you want us tracking our arrows? I, no, not really. That's, that's just for flavor. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. Alright, let me back up. Cool, that's my turn. I think like I think it was just a couple days ago that I was playing Baldur's Gate 3 and I had like Carlac use her crossbow because she was frightened and couldn't move and I was like, well I guess I'm doing this. And I was like, oh I'm so glad I don't have to track arrows in this game. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's just a thing we shouldn't be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean magic arrows probably. But yeah, magic arrows. Yeah, playing. but yeah. And I made Zant track his arrows because it was the only they were special. I could put on that. <laughs> they were special. Yeah. yeah. And then I remember downtime activities. I had to make more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, once again, there's banging and clanging in the shoot. It disgorges bodies. This room is starting to get disgusting. Yeah. Uh, but none of you are close enough to the shoot uh, okay. to take any have any ill effect. Great. And it is Jacket's turn. Okay. Magic missile. Can I ask a question? Mm-hmm. Um, at, can we have an idea of more or less at which rate like bodies are like coming down the chute? Does it seem pretty regular? Yeah, it's happening every every few seconds. It seems like somebody okay. up there has got this like a cartload. Yeah, and it's just dumping them. Okay, great. Gotcha. I do have Constantly. a cantrip that does damage. But... Okay, just wondering if you're gonna burn all your spell slots. On well, the it seems like <laughs> we need to kill this thing quickly. But, but it's also like I took yeah. out one of them with an arrow, so. Oh, all right, yeah, maybe I could do that. All right. I'm not trying Before to. Before I make another one, quick. I, I know. <laughs> well, but I'm, I'm not trying to backseat drive your character. I was just curious. Yeah, I mean, I about can your use, choices, uh, your life choices. I can, use, <laughs> I can use Ray of Frost. If you want to use Magic Missile, babe, you use Magic Missile. That's all well, you. Ray of Frost. I mean, I, like, I would also like to not use all my spell slots. Okay. <laughs> um, is this a saving throw or attack? I think it's an attack roll. It is a branch attack. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. That's twenty-five. Oh yeah, that definitely. Is. And then one d eight cold damage. Okay. Yep. Six. Great. Uh, the cold seems to have absolutely no effect. Okay, damage. I'm gonna change. Oh. The other one. <laughs> Wait, I'm not sure you can do that retroactively. I know, I can't. But I will next time. <laughs> yeah. Um. Any bonus actions, any movement you want to do? Oh, let me see here. That's really funny. One second. Maybe you can use the butt of your sword instead. Oh, you know, <laughs> the <laughs> damage replacement only works on spell slot spells anyway, so oh, I can yeah. do it. Yeah. Um, do I have a bonus action I want to use? No. So I guess I will hang out in this corner still. Okay. And be like, oh. That didn't work. <laughs> What's the opposite of an MVP? <laughs> yeah, LVP. Yeah. LVP. Don't give me that! That's so There's mean! A, the one who's been dividing them up. That's true. So, no, no, I mean, it comes up for a year an MVP, right? You're just on the wrong side of the line. <laughs> You're so mean! Alright, slow me around. This time, I can do the two shots with my yes. because I yeah. actually have a bonus action to use. 
Uh, okay, I thought it was a one, it was a seven. Okay. Uh, 13 to hit. That hits. Uh, we'll go eight second, eight. Uh, nine points of piercing damage. Okay. This thing is pretty cool, though. And Sweet. the thing collapses into a pile of damage. Yay! The, the, the arrow is destroyed. Um, all is quiet yeah, in the room. I mean, the uh, group of you wait sort of tensely to see if anything else is going to fall from the chute, but it seems like whatever or whoever is up there tossing bodies down it um, has emptied their cart. Um, seems like the way might be clear now. How far up is it up to the light? Just to, it seems super far based on your earlier. Mm-hmm. Like, would it be more than a fifty foot rope? Um, you f- it would probably be something like thirty. F- I think it would oh. rope. Oh. Would do it. oh, okay. That's not super. Okay. And is it like it's a small person. area, or like what's the size of the shoot? The shoot is. I mean, it's enough for um, medium creatures to like fall comfortably through. Uh, they're not. They're not sense. like these. These humanoid bodies are not getting jammed up in the chute, okay. and you can see on, on the map that it's like about ten feet um, mm-hmm. in diameter. I've totally forgotten. I'm wearing winged boots. I can just fly up there with a rope and hand the rope. Sweet. <laughs> so that's what I do. All right. I was like taking my pythons out. I'm like, oh, all right. Take it. Easy well, to forget these boots. Yes. Can I? Use Mage Hand to examine the body that was containing this ooze creature and yeah. be like, what? Even mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. trying to understand like why it was inhabiting it and what was going on, what it, what it is. Yeah, go for it. And also kind of understand what the nature of the creatures are that are even in Sigil, mm-hmm. wherever we are. Um, yeah, what, what? That's a lot of things to be figuring out at once. What, <laughs> I know. what are you I'm, trying to do here? Yeah, okay, so I guess bottom line is I want to see if. The creature is like generally are the creatures humanoid like us. Yeah. Like can I recognize any of the races? Okay. Um I think now that you all have some time to get your bearings, uh the first creature that Disgorge is is from, you don't recognize. Okay. But Slim and Celine, you do recognize it. This is a gift yankee. Uh figures. I stop its face in. <laughs> it's just like you're it didn't have a lot of bone structure to begin with because it was sort of ate it all. And so your foot just goes into the face with this like squelching sound. Yeah. Just like grind it against yeah. a little bit. Shake my boot off. Only regret is that we didn't get to do this step. Couldn't have been more. I almost feel sorry for throwing those eases now. They but, did us a favor. Yeah. In a sense. <laughs> All right, up I go now. I don't even remember why I hate them so much. <laughs> I didn't think why you're horrible the right there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he Whoa. said you wrote the stuff from your from your backstory section. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. So if it's okay. if it's written on your character sheet, oh, is that what you, you said were, earlier? You okay. okay, then I know why. I hate oh. Them. Okay. 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 <laughs> like, I don't even know why I hate them. I just, just hate them. Just immediately stop the faces. Faces. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I hate you, but stop. But yeah. stop. Right. I feel like I should. Yeah, why do you hate them so much? For the benefit of the listener. Problem. I mean, that's going to be revealed later, okay. I'm okay. sure. Okay. I'm not going to just dump my backstory for nothing. Fair. Okay, so... Yeah, buy a girl drinks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's a Yip Yankee, and then, like, is that kind of all the creatures that are here? All the No, um, there are a variety of creatures here. Um, okay. Some are human. Um, this was just the one Yip Yankee. Some of the human, um, a couple of them are these sort of like, some of them are very hard to identify at a glance what, um, I guess what lineage they are, Okay. but they are generally humanoid. Can um, I search them for like some identity or like some like... You can look, eventual? but it seems like whoever dumped these bodies had stripped them clean already. Okay. Well, I look at Slim. If no, those, three quarters of the way into the shaft. If they're kinder here, then I, I believe the queen has sent us here for a reason. Make uh make a nature or make a religion check. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm actually good at religion. Nope. Oh, but I rolled really well. Twenty one. Okay. Level um, three. 
you do have a sort of sense that um I'm trying to remember what was what was her name in Pantheon? Hmm? Um The Raven Queen? The Raven yeah. Queen? Oh goodness, let me find it's out. It's just the Raven Queen. Yeah. I have it written somewhere. Um yeah, I guess most people just call it the Raven Queen. Mm -hmm. You do have a sense that the Raven Queen doesn't approve of this place, and is mm -hmm. and is sort of happy that you're being causing chaos in it. Mm -hmm. But your connection to the Raven Queen does feel a little bit muted. I don't know how she managed it, but there's a reason we're here. I can feel it. You're not sure. Yeah. You're not sure. It's my fault. <laughs> yeah, it this is. is your own. Yeah, it is my. Yeah. It is your fault. Coming back to bite me in the butt. And so then I hand you the rope and send you up the shaft. Right then. Up I go. Okay. Um, Slim, you sort of ooze up the shaft, <laughs> climbing as you go. Flying. Um, flying. Flying, that's true. Flying yeah, you, boots. Yeah. you use your winged boots to fly up the shaft. And when you reach the top, um, you emerge from the shoot into the mortuary, into the mortuary into a dilapidated city square. There are stacks of jumbled tenements and like grimy hodgepodges of like weird architecture that just seems to be built on top of it, on top of it, on top of it, um, just like rising as, as high as you can see. And there is a uh, persistent low hanging fog over the entire square that you find yourself in. But through the fog, you can sort of make out there's this like impossible looking city unfolding all around you. The bladed buildings on all side seems like people really like blades and architecture here um every building you see looks forbidding and um hostile um and there are tons of buildings the urban sprawl just spreads before you around you and up you see as it curves along the inside of a gigantic torus so you can sort of like look up and see the other side of the city on the other end of this like gigantic torus um, that you're on. It curves upwards into the clouds and it disappears into the haze. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a great session. I love everything about this. Yeah, party. great. All right. Um, thanks for all. Thanks everyone for playing. Um, join us again next week as we continue our Planescape campaign. Woo! Woo! Good night. Good night. Yeah.